Hi, little porcupines. You want to say hi? I'm porcupines. Hi, porcupines. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Today is Wednesday, April 8th, and this is our home lesson number seven. Again, today we're going to be talking about the back mount position again, okay? And then we're also going to talk about if somebody tries to hit you in the head with something, so like a stick, okay? But first I want to talk about this word right here that we wrote on this little board here. I don't know if you can see it. It's the word jujitsu. It's what we do. And so I want to talk a minute about what jujitsu means. Yeah. So jujitsu means the gentle art, okay? And it's the art of yielding. So that means letting things go by, okay? And one of the one of the definitions, one of the reasons it got its name was an old monk was watching in a forest as snow was falling on the trees. And the snow built up on the big heavy trees and it would break the branches and knock the trees down. But on the willow tree, the snow built up, and it built up, and then all of a sudden, whoosh, the willow tree let all the snow go, and it survived. And so that's how jujitsu, that's one of the reasons jujitsu got its name, was from the willow tree that bends and lets the weight go by. Now, why is that important? Because right now we have a lot of stuff going on in our lives. Your parents might be really stressed, you might notice that they that they don't have a lot of patience, okay? But what's happening is that that weight is building up, building up, and we have to find a way to let it go, okay? So a couple of ways we can let that weight go is through physical fitness, and that's for our health topic this month. So again, we're going to show you guys some exercises you can do to, to burn off some of that weight that's building up and let the snow fall through, okay? Some other great ideas, make sure you stay in a routine, okay? So make sure you're practicing your jiu-jitsu, make sure you're doing things like brushing your teeth and getting dressed every day and still doing baths at night or in the morning when you do them and just stay into a regular routine. That'll really help let that weight go by. It's also really important to say all the things that you're thankful for. So maybe, so maybe I want you guys to think up some ideas for our next lesson. Think of maybe five things, five things that you're really thankful for. Are you thankful for your house, your home? Maybe you're thankful for your parents, your grandparents, or some relatives. Maybe you're thankful for the food you have on your plate. Billy, are you thankful for anything? Um, She's thankful for peanut butter and honey, which is a great meal, a very healthy meal to have, okay? I got the meal on board. Yeah, absolutely. All right, let's get to our lesson. For our physical fitness part today, we're gonna do bear crawls while we sing the ABCD song. All right, you guys ready? Okay, let's go. Go A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Another exercise we can do for physical fitness is touch our feet to the ABC song. You guys ready? Let's do it. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? For our ground portion today, we're going to talk about the back mount again. So Billy's going to see if she can stay on me when I turn over onto my stomach. And she's going to make her top connection with her hands. And then she's going to put her hooks in for my legs. Hey. Okay. All right, ready? Yeah, roll over, stay on my back. Okay, yeah. Good. Grab your hands around my neck. Good, not too tight. Some legs tight, perfect. Let's check your balance this way. And let's go this way. Whoa! And this way. And this way. And let's like turning, don't fall off. Stay on. Stay on. Stay on. You're down so well. Alright, you did it. I did it. 
high five. Okay, you want to do it next? I want a really super high one. A really yeah. high five one. Yeah. Right now. Good job. Wow. Hey, all right, watch out, watch out. Cut the No, 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 no. Okay, you know, grab around my neck. Hold on tight. Hold on to my collar right here. Here, hold on tight right there. Right here. Hold tight. Okay, keep your legs tight. Yeah, tight. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Whoa, don't fall off, you know. Hold on, hold on, buddy. Good. Good job. All right. Good job, get off. Good job, hold on, hold on, honey, hold on. Good job, Vito. High five. Ooh. Okay, for our standing portion, again, we're gonna look at what if somebody tries to hit you in the head with something. Okay, so we're gonna use these little bubbles, these little, whoa, <laughs> these little bubble holders here to make sure that they're nice and soft so if it accidentally hit you, it wouldn't hurt. But Billy, do we ever hit anybody with it? No. Vito, do we ever hit anybody with those? No, we never hit anyone with it. We're just practicing in case somebody tries to hit you. Okay, Billy, why don't you be the first one? Yeah. All right. I'll swing it against you. After. No, no, I'm going to do it first, okay? Can I do it after? So remember, you raise your hand up like this. You block. Grab, hold tight. You go underneath. Uh -huh. Underneath. Grab, and take it away. All right, that was really good. Try it again. Put your hand up. Block. Hold on tight. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Good job. Now I try to hit you. Okay, you gonna do it to me? <laughs> don't hit anyone with it, Vito. Okay, boom. Try. Ah, oh, I got it. Like that. Yep. Hey, Vito, your turn. Vito's turn. Okay, ready? Block right here. Boom. Hold on tight. Hold on tight. Go underneath, grab it. Take it away. Yes. One more time. One more time. One more time. Come on, hold on, no good. Yes! You want to try to hit me? Okay, come right here. Okay, turn it this way. Okay, swing it right here for the daddy's head. Ah. <laughs> Alright guys, again, be very careful with this one, but let's practice that at home, okay? I'll see you on our next lesson. Bye.